Right, I'm going to be doing a few things inside the gearbox of this Spectner Arms 1 Series SA-A03 But before I do that, I just want to show you a couple of things Right, didn't notice this when I took it out of the box at first if you watched the other videos but there's movement between the upper and lower so I might stick something on that pin maybe a dab of glue let it dry and it should hold it a bit tighter I'll probably stop that but somebody asked me about the rail and what size the rail was for fitting attachments now they come as 22 millimeter for the attachments but when I measured this one it's coming in at 20 Let's see it's just coming in on 20 Yeah, just around 20 to come in that if I go where the actual attachment goes into and it's around roughly 16 top rail twenty not twenty two like on most rails. So just be aware of that if you get one. Right. Yeah I was asked that question what measurements was it? I didn't realise it was twenty. But I don't put attachments on there anyway so okay on that side. Right I've a few bits already took out of this this is all loose just I'm just gonna go fast fall kind of through it take out the gearbox because that's his stuff I'll be working on um, new hop unit piston spring hop rubber barrel um, motor I have there I don't know what torque it is but I'd say it's better than the one that came out of it. Correct AOE and I have to short stroke the gear. Put in a jet drone active brake, see how that fares out. Right, I'm just gonna tear this down to the gearbox. Alright, gearbox out. Let's pop this spring. I believe this is the M120 spring. From the chrono sheet on 20s. Hot fully released. 401, 407. For something. 408. 407 with 30 it's 0 0.3 it's doing around 260 270 I think can't remember I'd have to look back over the video when I crawl on it right all them out
it's fairly tight in there. Now I will be using this little trolley and taking out this and I'll be short stroking this gear probably three teeth so when I throw the no spring in, pretty sure it's M100, should bring my jewel back down to one jewel where I need it. Fingers crossed, hopefully, it's three teeth. Could be two teeth, but I'll take three, and if the spring doesn't bring the jewel up to one jewel, if it's just a tad lower, that'll be sound anyway. Right, so I'm going to short stroke the gear anyway first, then I'm going to have to shim it and fix motor height, shim that as well up to the bevel. Alright, so I've short stroke that, took it down to, it's 13 teeth now, took three off of it. So that's that done. Next, um, I'm just going to shim it and see how that turns out. Keep these bearings in. They seem to be okay, nothing wrong with them. Now I'm just going to shim it and then I'll come back to you on that. Right, shimming this gearbox. I've shimmed the bevel. I only could put one shim on the bottom of the sector. Can't get a shim between the spur whatsoever. So the spur has no shims. Just will not take a shim. Tried bushings, the bearings, just won't take a shim. So, the way it is at the moment sounds all right so yeah I can't get any more shims in there And there's absolutely no room for anything to move. There's one you get point one in there. So yeah, that's fun. We'll have to do. It's been free enough, so Alright, so I'm just checking with the tappet plate that can move freely. It's not binding with the gears. So that can move free. Right, where well, I am, I have AOE corrected. Just hitting nicely on it. Not quite the 12 o'clock position, just before it. Um, 
yeah, new piston, 14 tooth piston, second tooth removed. Let's put a new piston head on it because they decided to lock tight this one in and the screw in there was just too tight and it stripped the head off the screw so fuck that so new piston head new piston deal with that another time um say the shims is just a nightmare to try to shim this the spur gear will not take no shims so maybe change that another time or see if I can get some different bearings that are a bit lower but there you go this is what it is for now what more I can do with it um, right, I'm going to fit in just Jeff from Actis Brake use the old stock trolley and fit the spring do the barrel booking hop unit and put it all back together all right got the gearbox in the Jeftron active brake I'm just going to throw the motor in, throw the pin back in and give it a quick test and see how it goes and I have to deal with this little dude as well trying to get up and he's all over the place on the shims so yeah, fun and games right so I took this MOSFET back out what's happening it's just smoking and if I plug the battery in too long it'll just blow the fuse again it's just smoking from in here I don't know nothing about MOSFET so I don't know what it is so I've just gone back to the original mechanical trigger it'll do because I'll be using 7.4 on it anyway I'm just gonna disconnect this tam here and stick a deans on it this will work away fine but yeah there you go I know fuck all about MOSFETs so I can't say what's wrong with it but it's smoking so there you go now I'm going to throw this back together See how it goes then. Red beans on that. That's basically back to the original. Might eventually pick up another MOSFET, but for now, mechanical trigger and 7.4 battery will just do the job. And eventually down the line, I don't know whether I'll get a new gearbox casing or some different gears to see if I can get this shimmed properly because there's no shims on this at all. fit no shims in it it's like the cutouts for the bearings isn't deep enough and they're sitting this slightly high and I don't have no proper tool to machine them out a little bit more so yeah there we go Not everything can go perfect. Right, VFC hop. 
this is FPS software flat hop rubber just goes on anywhere there's nothing inside it it's just flat all the way around Oh, I may need to trim the booking. You can see there it's not quite flush all the way. flat knob No, it's not quite set properly there now. Might have to trim that knob at the side. Just slightly.
Just have to go get a sharper blade. Let's see, that's about right there now. Alright, so I fitted the 120 spring, I have it up to 0 0.935 of a joule, 259 fps on the 0 0.3 with the hop set. So yeah, that'll do. Keep it at that. Gonna have one more distance to shot just to see the range. I just tested the range there with the hopped the way it's set. 
might need tweaking a slight little bit more up but it still has good distance the way it is I'll just bring it up quarter of a notch let's give it another quick crawl there Zero point nine two joule. Zero point nine. Zero point nine one. Zero point nine one. Zero point nine one. Zero point nine one. So yeah, it's consistent and that'll do where it is. It's reaching out there. So yeah, that's good enough. Alright, that's it. Take it easy.